This is a video for the AIUK project on two attic inscriptions at Chatsworth, introduced to you by Peter Little and myself, Polly Lowe. Chatsworth, the Derbyshire seat of the Dukes of Devonshire, includes among its extensive collection of ancient and modern art and sculpture a small number of attic inscriptions. In this video, we discuss these inscriptions, a classical funerary monument, and a statue base of the Roman imperial period. The first object of interest is a freestanding solid marble lekythos, the likes of which were commonly used as grave markers in Attica throughout the classical period. Their shape closely resembles that of the ceramic vessels called lekythoi, which contained a scented oil used in rituals associated with the dead. They formed part of the decoration of family funerary enclosures, or periboloi, like this one at Ramnus in northeast Attica. The Chatsworth example is dated to the period between 375 and 325 on account of its shape and letter forms. It's decorated with four figures, two adults, one male on the right hand side and one female on the left stand and greet each other with clasped hands, a gesture known as dexiosis. This is a commonplace feature of the iconography of funerary monuments. It symbolised a bond, whether familial, of marriage or a friendship between two individuals which is unbroken by death. The central female figure performs the gesture of unveiling, or anacalypsis, suggesting an intimate relationship between two individuals. The same gestures are to be found on the memorial for Melisto and Epigenes at Lyme Park in Cheshire. But to return to Chatsworth. A smaller female figure stands in the far left of the scene, carrying a small box. This individual seems likely to be an enslaved person. The box, perhaps to be interpreted as a jewellery casket, might be intended to signify the wealth of the woman depicted, or might allude to the practice of bringing offerings to the tombs of the dead. At the bottom of the scene, between the two central figures, a small, naked boy runs towards the adult female. It's quite possible that this is the child of the two adults. As we see in other ancient Athenian funerary monuments, the Chatsworth Lekathos emphasises the humanity of the deceased while also projecting impressions of their status. The two names on the stone probably refer to the adult figures depicted. One is easily decipherable, Puros, son of Pancles, of the Dean Potamos. The other is fragmentary, but seems to refer to a daughter of a man of the Deem Kefale. The woman is identified with the name of her father, but this doesn't rule out the possibility that she was married to Puros. It's quite common for inscriptions to be used to label figures on decorated grave monuments. One oddity of the Chatsworth Lekathos, however, is that the male name Puros is placed by the female figure on the left-hand side of the scene, while the female name sits above the male figure. A possible explanation for this is that the Lekathos originally commemorated only one of these two people. When the other died, their name was added to the monument in the remaining space. In the garden of Chatsworth stands what is popularly known as the Greek altar. A weathered square base of white marble, it was set up by the city of Athens in honour of Julia Domna, who was Roman Empress from 193 to 211 AD. The form of the monument and the formula of the inscription suggests that the base originally supported a statue of the Empress. It is likely to have been set up by the Athenians as an attempt to cultivate or maintain the imperial family's goodwill. Domna is named on the base as the wife of the Emperor Septimius Severus. She had been designated 
mother of the camps in 195 or 196 AD. It's a title which reflects the symbiotic relationship between empress and army. The troops were under the protection of the imperial family. The empress, in turn, could expect to be supported and defended by the army. Yet evidently, the designation was deployed in non-military contexts. The fact that it had previously been held by wives of earlier emperors meant that it could help to legitimate Domna's position to a wider audience. In this case, the audience was that of Athenian and other visitors at Eleusis, the sanctuary to the west of Athens, where it was set up. Eleusis was famous as the place of the annual celebration of the Mysteries in honour of Demeter and Persephone. A cult which represented the myth of the abduction of Persephone from her mother Demeter by Hades, the king of the underworld. The cult celebrated the fertility of Athenian land. During the period of the Roman domination of Athens, participating in the Eleusinian mysteries remained popular among the Roman upper classes. The likes of Cicero and the Emperor Hadrian were among the initiates. This meant that Eleusis was the location of quite a large number of statues of prominent Romans. The Chatsworth collection is built on a long family tradition which extends across several centuries. The second Duke of Devonshire brought the first Greek and Roman antiquities to the house in the early 18th century. And the sixth Duke, known as the Bachelor Duke, was a passionate collector of ancient and modern sculpture gathering items which he had collected himself in Europe and those given to him by friends and relations. He displayed them in the house and grounds of Chatsworth as decorative elements and as demonstrations of his family's appreciation of art. The inscribed Lekathos may have been collected by the sixth Duke himself on his visit to Athens in 1839, although we lack firm evidence for this. The statue base for Julia Domna was given to the sixth duke by his half-brother, Sir Augustus Clifford, who had travelled to Greece as captain of a Royal Navy ship in the early 1820s. To read more about the inscribed sculptures at Chatsworth House and the history of their collection, we recommend that you look at our publication of these inscriptions in IOC Volume 7. The grounds of Chatsworth are open to visitors. For more information about the collections and access to them, please consult the relevant information on Chatsworth's website.